And more while, more while when you pray, come like you know, get no answer. You know? As, as a matter of fact, more while when you pray, as I say, in one of the next video, the more you pray, the more you get attacked. But somebody just confirm if you miss it. Not no good, sir. It's like, it's like the more, it's like the closer you get to God, or the worse your life become. Because the more you die out to the world, because like, the world doesn't make no sense, you know, honestly. It just doesn't make no sense. It just seems like it's sensible, but it doesn't make no sense at all. Just think about it for a second. I mean, if you mention one thing, just, just think about life for a second. Think about the world and look if it makes no sense. After you pull out your little family matters and whatever, look if life makes no sense. Look if everything where you, you could not possibly accomplish to come down to vanity at the end of the day. Just think about it. Just think about it. Everything that you could not possibly achieve is not for you. It's for another person. Just think about it. Because one day you go past your life. Just think about it. So, maybe at the war with God. And they pray, and they pray, and they pray, and they pray, and they pray. Enough time, we just feel like giving. I mean, I say, Father, you know, I do nothing for me. You know, I do nothing for me. I mean, I, I do on my bed for seven months now, basically, me day. I me, me pay on one place. I come like me in a prison. Me, me basically, um, me, me I pray sometime at night time. I did a pray the other day. I pray about seven nights. I mean, one next place in the house, I mark it down. One night, two night, three night, four night, till it gets seven nights. I mark it down like a prison media. I count the days. Um. I said, Father, what you have to do for me? What me can I, what me can I answer my prayer? What me can I answer my prayer? And you feel like you want to give up. Even though me I do the video, you just feel like one cloud of, of fear. You just feel like, like one heaviness, one burden. One, uh, you know what I mean? Just a cloud your mind. You don't want your thing straight. And, and sometimes you just feel like you just give up and talk to what they were there. You know what I mean? I talk about What I tell you is, in a fight with God, don't give up. Don't for a second give up. Because, you know, old people always say, just when you think it's over, it's not over. Don't give in. Don't make nothing compel you. Don't make nothing convince you. Say, so give up. Pray on. Even if the world will fall around you, don't give up. Trust me, sometimes I feel like I just give up. Sometimes I feel like I cuss God in a some way that no other man and his son ever cuss him. Because, alright. When me and God are cuss, when me are cuss God, you hear me cuss God, but Father, me know all this come through your hands. Me know you're powerful than all my problems. Father, me know you're, you're greater than everything that happened to me. Me know I never have known talking in my life because if it was for him, me gone home already. So I know this is all you and I've been praising you. I've been giving you all the thanks and praise. I don't eat without you. I don't sleep without you. I don't make a move without consulting you. So Father, why is it? Remember when, when this whole witchcraft thing started to happen to me, me, me used to kneel down and pray. Me, man, I start, just start to get comfortable with prayer because for years, about four years, I never prayed. And then I start to pray, you know, and I start to get comfortable. I start to feel like a warrior in prayer, you know. There are times when you de- pray and you just feel like you're in our next world, covered under the blood of Jesus. And then all of a sudden, right now, me and Abraham kneel down. If I kneel down right now, we can't stay down there for 30 seconds. You know? You know me feel right now? Not being able to move on, not being able to pray or sufficiently, or I really want to pray. Just to pray, just to talk this. My throat hurt me, my stomach hurt me, or whatever. You think then demon, demon are easy? So, I just make the video of kind of encourage somebody out there say, Yo, you're going. In your war with God, in your quest for Him, in your wrestling with, with the Father, don't give up. Don't give up. Because in our weakness, God's strong. You know, as one person mentioned, say, hey, you're going. If, if, if you end up just pray and things just happen, people would have neglect, um, neglect um, the, 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 uh, the journey. 
Nobody would do business with the people that just do their own little thing and things. So I, as soon as me get them for me, yeah, gotta go forgive me and everything. You know what I mean? And the next thing over the ham is just as the person say is this. Uh, you, the man we can pray the most with a boss. But the other man we can pray. So why? Me can me can pray. Me can get my sins forgiven faster than yours or whatever. So God I feel us balance out everything and sometimes make make the road rough and rocky. Because the truth of the matter is, none of this what go on is not about with flesh. It's not about with flesh in no way at all. It's all about our spirit. It's just that we have to use this flesh to master the things of the spirit. You understand what I mean? Yeah, but it's never been about the flesh. You see, but Satan taunt we in the flesh. You know, him have him job for do. He, him do all manner of things to we in the flesh and get get if you try to save your life into the flesh meanwhile the spiritual life I go down so this basically I encourage one way to give up right you know and give in and throw in the towel so we can't bother and whatever just don't give up don't give in as me say even when the world are fall around you because guess what you know? there are times when everything around you are going to fall you see when you start to pray yo when you start to get, pray and get closer to God Things around you are gonna sick your stomach. For real. For real. Your life gonna become so difficult that every single thing you see hurt you. Because you can no longer be the same. The jokes you used to run, you can't run them. The, the, oh, Sometimes you even look upon a person's status when your friend status and, and, and some things we used to entertain you and even entertain you no know, more. You feel such a spiritual pain. Sometimes I day I feel some pain but I can't ever explain it because they're not in the body. I don't know if that makes sense. Then there's an inner body, there's a spiritual pain in them there. Trust me, so don't give in, don't give up. But stay true to the Father, you know what I mean? Yeah, and pray for each other. Because we pray for each other, because we all need prayers, yo. We all need prayers, and we'll we get weak sometimes. Even the best prayer, the prayer warrior get, get, get weak sometimes. So make we just intercede for each other. And just live together as brothers and sisters. You know what I mean? Glory be to God Almighty. Yeah. Jesus' blood ministry. <laughs>